All right, it's Mexican people. Welcome back to the stories of Pedro Destinies, and I was right. The trophy thing interrupts interrupts this thing when when they get recording, and I had to turn it off. So yeah, it didn't save again. I'm pissed because you know did a cutscene, and I guess I'm still gonna continue playing the other words. Like, uh, yeah, but first I can finish this game, and we happy few and Mad Rat dead, and then we actually had to like. Do Christmas videos. I may have one for Destiny 2. I hope I can have one for the, for like you know, the Isle of the Wars. I don't know. No, no, not the Isle of the Wars. Uh, you know, we'll Killing Floor too. And yeah. And I'm gonna mad right now because my gameplay a little bit got got, got, got kind of ruined. But uh, whatever. At last, he reached the Empress ship. Zenobia was there. Why'd you have to come back? She said. Guess I'm just serving my destiny. He shrugged. You don't even know what that word means, she said. Do you ever wonder if things have been different all the time, she said, and drew her sword. In the end, Renato lay bleeding out on the oh, deck. I ever came. Zenobia sat by his side, upset. What are you so upset about? He asked. You wouldn't understand. Why? Why didn't you tell me you were going to leave school? I was afraid you'd convince me not to. I guess I'll have to buy you a drink in the halls of the Valiant then, he told her. And then he was gone. Well, you should go back to some of the choices he'd faced before. Maybe there were new paths that had opened up. Like those doors he was opening up all over the map that took him to new treasures and around his enemies. But he'd learn another true thing. Zenobia still had feelings for him. Well, crap, I didn't expect that, alright? Oh, yeah. Damn. Anyways, so hold on, let me just check something real quick. It's gonna be like a small part, but all right. So apparently, we still get to get to the Pino endings. Just the point. I don't know how to get them. It's everything's random at this point. All right, so yeah, we gotta unlock every ending to get that. Oh shit! The book's pages fluttered to the beginning once again, faster than before. And he fell. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. And he had a gut feeling that he needed to use that to his advantage. Hang on. What's the key for this? What does the key do? Okay. So, uh, we're gonna end it here, guys. It's gonna be a short video, but 